So knowing that this was coming out, I was really anticipating it and it exceeded all my expectations. Cool. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, David. Yeah, that's yeah. um it does mean a lot to hear that. And it makes me kind of puts the fire under you to really, you know, I want to show more. So it's exciting to um to have the opportunity that I've got with need to try to work on stuff of um of true importance, you know, something I like. I really love the idea of just not just to a surf edit, just to be an edit that gets blasted quick. I love the idea of working on on something of more magnitude, something of a little more, um, I think, significance with the film side of things. It's like it's been such a a significant thing throughout the surf culture's history with with the films and being the feature full length films that you really get to immerse yourself in and and really take on board and watch watch somebody's creative eye being brought to life is just something so special. So um, I'm just truly honored to be able to be, you know, in a spot to work on something to be proud of, you know, so yeah, that's something I'll always be grateful for the family at need for giving me that opportunity. I'm a little bit surprised to hear you say that you want to put more out there and that you're like excited to do this because yeah. I just presumed that you were intentionally keeping a low profile. Yeah, um, I mean, yes and no. I, I had some some stuff go on um, back in 2019, just that just before COVID. With um, I'm sure you've heard, and after watching the film, it it definitely touches on it. But those bushfires that we had in 2019, definitely, um, it was. Yes. So um, it just was a basically flipped my world on its head, that fire. So I think, you know, before that, I think I was kind of gearing to maybe try to be a little bit more active on showing stuff and being a bit more active on the social media side of things. But um, yeah, with something of that magnitude um, happening and, you know, it's like the, the family's cornerstone, it's, that was our sacred space. And for it to all go up like it did in that those horrendous, like those fires were horrific. It wasn't just our area. It was the whole of Australia, as you know, was pretty much on fire. So, um, yeah, it was one of those things that almost just, it basically ground, like just grinded me into submission. Yeah. It's kind of hard to um, put it into words and exactly what, you know, it was basically... I'm in a good space now with it, but it was a huge learning curve for me, something that took, um, you know, a number of years to even come to a place of where you're comfy talking and, you know, it was, yeah. it, was it was of that significance. So to kind of get back to the, the question, I think um, it wasn't so much of a conscious decision to be low profile and off the grid. Um, it was more of like a, a self learning curve that I needed to go through, um, which was, as I, as I said, like, I'm in a good spot now with it, but it was definitely, um, some, yeah, some very, very hard lessons learned on that one. I think we were kind of subconsciously waiting for the right time. I, I had, I definitely had a lot of thoughts of, you know, showing more on social media platforms, you know, going back, you know, before the fires I was contemplating starting to put some of this stuff out there but I'm really glad I didn't now because I think it's it's been waiting for the right home in a project that really means a lot to me and something that I'm hoping well I definitely will be proud of it forever now so I'm uh, I'm grateful that we did hoard clips like we did so the question is with this film why now um i think it was time i think it was maybe potentially a bit overdue but i think i'm a firm believer in um things happening when they're meant to and i think it was just something that was important for me to do um because i've essentially i've been a part of some things with with this and little bits and pieces that i've been might have been stoked on like a wave or two um hmm. but i've never never had an accurate depiction i don't believe um of my surfing and i just i think it was 
it was something that I just wanted to do at least once, you know, um, just to have something that you're proud of out there. And then you can, honestly, I, I hope that it's a body of work that I can, I can do and I can do a number of films with need and moving forward. But quite honestly, for me, it was almost like if I get one done that I'm proud of, I could very well disappear and mm. you know be be very happy that I've got one thing out there that I'm stoked on. Um, and I don't I don't want to disappear. I want to I want to keep doing these things that I love and I want to do them with these beautiful people. And that's something that I think the film does has done in my eyes is why it's special is it's really depicted accurately depicted ad, adoration for for other people that have helped shape you, you know? It's showing the love, like what we love to do most together as a family is go hang down the beach and to have that be a byproduct of that, the footage be a byproduct of it, I think is nothing could be closer to the heart uh, for, for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm truly excited and, and grateful to everybody that gives it a watch.